Hi, I'm Allison Ramsey. I am an allergy immunology physician at Rochester Regional Health, and I'm a clinical assistant professor of medicine at the University of Rochester. I am going to be speaking to you about mastocytosis today. And to understand what mastocytosis is, you first have to know that the mast cell is an immune cell that is involved in the allergic response. And during the allergic response, the mast cell releases many substances, of which the best known is histamine. Patients who have mastocytosis have mast cells that are present in increased numbers in their bone marrow and their blood and in other organs. And people with mastocytosis may present with symptoms like flushing or itching or rash, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal cramping, shortness of breath, dizziness, lightheadedness, or passing out. Many of those symptoms are involved in anaphylaxis, and people with uh, mastocytosis are at higher risk for anaphylaxis to medications or bee stings, or even just um, as a spontaneous event. Usually, mastocytosis is diagnosed by an allergy immunology physician, although some other specialists may also be involved. The most important uh, aspect of diagnosis of mastocytosis is taking a good clinical history regarding the patient's symptoms and uh, history of events. Beyond that, blood work may be helpful. The most notable blood test is a serum tryptase. Patients may also need to undergo skin biopsy, uh, bone marrow biopsy, urine studies, and in some cases, monitoring of other organs or looking at genetic tests may be appropriate. The management of mastocytosis focuses uh, on avoiding triggers of allergic reaction. Uh, patients are also treated with antihistamine since histamine is one of the main mediators that causes symptoms in mastocytosis. Uh, a medication called chromalin may be helpful for the gastrointestinal symptoms uh, that patients have in mastocytosis, including abdominal cramping, uh, nausea, or vomiting. It is also really important for patients with mastocytosis to communicate their diagnosis among members of the healthcare team uh, particularly when they're undergoing operative procedures. And further, uh, patients with mastocytosis should have their bone health monitored because that can be impacted by the diagnosis. Another important aspect in the management of mastocytosis is for patients to maintain epinephrine auto-injectors in order to be prepared to treat any episodes of anaphylaxis. For further information, please visit our website.